All right, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. We are live. Thanks for waiting on me. I am trying to watch the chat over here on the side. Oh, we have all kinds of people here. If you guys would be so kind as to share it in the Cricut Easy Press Facebook group. I was trying to do that beforehand and it's just not working. Actually, I might be able to do it real quick. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry, brief dog crisis. Um, for some reason, this thing keeps picking up the thumbnail from whatever live I did before. So it says, let's make a Valentine. We're obviously not making a Valentine. Um, I don't know if you guys know or not, Cricut has put out a new product called Sport Flex, and it is an iron on, and it is made for polyester and nylon materials. It has a new strong bond adhesive. It's longer lasting and it comes in a multitude of colors. They sent me a couple of sample rolls to show you guys. I don't know if the, they're that light might help, but there are all different colors um, on the web. I do have it linked in the description below the video. And if you go on the Cricut website to the Easy Press settings, they have now updated it to include the Sport Flex. So we now have another um, column here that has the sport flex settings and you'll notice that the sport flex is only recommended for nylon blend um, polyester and the rest of them are marked not recommended so it is not recommended for anything other than nylon and polyester now this feels different than the regular iron-on and I will tell you, these are the ones that were in the sampler pack that I opened. I will tell you, it's a little bit difficult to tell which side is the shiny side. So what I did um, when I cut mine out was just pull back the corner just a little bit so that I could see which side was the clear sheet. And that obviously goes face down on the mat. You cut this just like regular iron on. Um, so that's tip number one. It does feel a little bit different. This is a really cool color. This, it looks holographic in this thing, and it is. It's um, kind of a purpley, kind of blue. It's really cool. This is more of a champagne color, and this one is a blue metallic. The other uh, sampler pack that they sent me has a more of a matte color of a blue. It has a teal and a gray. So... It also, it comes in many other colors. You guys will find it on the website. So what I did, I was trying to find something nylon that I had on hand. Um, I actually had the afternoon off today. So I came home and thought I would try this out for you guys. I have a company coming this weekend. And I wanted to get this video up. So I found these shorts up in my son's closet. These are regular, like gym shorts, like the guys wear. And I thought, what a great... Um, project this would be for like you know your kids are on team sports or they have warm-up jackets you can put their name on them you could put their emblems whatever for school so I grabbed his shorts he was always on the baseball team and he was um number two on the high school baseball team we always called him deuce so I thought well I'm gonna put they were the Riley Wildcats and so I'm going to put the paw print with the number two right on his shorts, just like I would if he was still in school, which he isn't. So the Cricut Sport Flex goes, whoops. The Cricut Sport Flex is recommended for 305 for 30 seconds on a polyester, which is what this is. Now I've got my pressing pillow because I've got a seam right here. This is a leg. It's a little bit narrower than the bottom of the heat press so I want or the easy press so I want to make sure that I have full contact. I'm going to go ahead and pre-press 
for just a second. Oops, got you on the wrong screen. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-press for just a second. All right, that looks good. And let's see if I have a, I do. All right, so we have two layers here, 305, 30 seconds. So you guys know whenever we do layers, we don't press the first layer for the full time. So I'm gonna put this down and line it up. All right, here we go. I'm just going to put it down for maybe three or four seconds. We'll see how it does. This is my first time using this, so we're learning together. Let's see if we have adhesion. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so nice. You can tell it's different than regular, like Cricut Light. It's very um, flexible, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. So we just did that for a couple of seconds. And now we have the top of the paw print. And let's see if we can get this lined up really well. This was a paw print right out of design space, if anybody's looking for it. And since this is covering my complete design, I don't need to worry about the Teflon sheet, so I guess I'm not going to put that on there. All right, so now I'm going to go 305, 30 seconds for the full amount. I'll put it on, hit the timer. And we're counting down. Let's see if I can read some comments while we're waiting. Northern Ireland. Hello, Janet, Cynthia. It is pouring down rain here today. Hi, Michelle. All right, so we've got layer two down. I don't know, is this light? I can pull it away a little bit. It's a really rainy, dreary day, so I was trying to get you guys some extra light. Oh, I am loving this. This is just, I wish you could see it in real life. It is different. It's very flexible. It's very smooth. It's very shiny. Um, it just feels different. It just looks different. So I really, I really like that. You can't even really tell that that is two layers. It looks like it's melted together. All right, so I am going to... I'm going to put this down just so I don't pick up the texture from my pressing pillow. And I'm going to press it from the back for the full time. Any deals on the Maker? There's always deals on Cricut.com. You can check that. I can put a link below the video. Um, Tish's dogs were barking. Mine are always, as soon as I they hear me start talking, they start barking. They think something's going on. Hey, Terry. Hi, Sheila. Yes, Judy, These are. this is going to be perfect for sports gear. And it's, I don't know, it's just, I really wish I could explain it because it's, it's just different. I love it. It doesn't feel like there's layers there. It's very smooth. It's very flexible. Um, it's almost kind of, I don't want to say rubbery because it's light. It's just different. Um, you can't see the texture through this. You can't see the texture of the fabric. It's a little thicker than that. Um, really, It's really smooth. I love it. So this is, this is it. It's called Cricut Sports Flex Iron On. There are several different colors online. I have it linked in the description below the video. You guys can use my code L-O-R-R-I-E and get 10% off and free shipping. Um, why, why do you press from the back? Uh, Cricut Easy Press, the Cricut website, the help settings, everything always recommends. If you're going to put something in the wash to press it from the back, the difference between the Easy Press and a heat press is you don't have, you're not making that sandwich. So it, you know, like when you're cooking a grilled cheese sandwich and you push down on it, you're gonna melt that cheese a little bit faster than you are 
when you just have pressure coming from one side. So this is the same thing. We're just pressing from the top. We're not, you know, putting a lot of elbow um, work into it. So you just press from the back to help that, um, the, the glue, the adhesion, you, you just help it melt a little bit more. Just, it's just an extra precaution just to make sure that it's nice and melted and adhered to your fabric. Um, how do you wash item with this material? This, you can just wash it just like you would anything else. I would wash and dry it. Cricut may recommend hang drying, but I always dry my stuff. Um, what else? I like the sheen. Yeah, I do too, Michelle. It's, I just, I really wish I could show it on camera, but it's, it's hard to show with the light. It's really, it's really smooth. It feels, uh, I don't know, it, it feels almost silky. It's just really, it's really nice. And it's not heavy, like it wouldn't be sticky on the back of your shirt. Um, in the light, you can see the iron marks. You can't, there, I don't see any iron marks at all. I don't know what you're seeing, but there aren't any iron marks. Um, Jamie says her marks from the iron have always gone away. I could see some iron mark will not go away or will it? There is no iron mark here. I, I don't know what you're seeing on camera, but, um, there isn't an iron mark at all. Everything is very, very smooth. If I can get it up here. I don't know what you're seeing, but it might just be the way the light's catching it in here, but there isn't any iron marks. It's very, it's very, very smooth. That's one of the things I like about it. It's just, it's different. It just moves different. It feels different. Can it go on swimwear? It can go on anything. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it can go on polyester. It can go on nylon. It is not recommended for cotton materials. It's not recommended for cotton polyester blends. It's not recommended for silk. Um, not recommended for jersey mesh. Silk with Teflon. Um, it's not recommended on the leather. So as long as your swimsuit is made out of polyester or nylon or a polyester nylon blend, it could go on a swimsuit. Yes, Judy, it does. It looks like part of the garment. We'll keep my name handy. All right, guys. I know everybody's at work, and I just wanted to get this up. Um, like I said, I had the afternoon off, and I have company coming in for the weekend. So I really wish I could send this to all of you just so that you could feel it, because it's, it's just super, super cool. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.